Welcome, my name is uh, Oren, and today we are going to speak about the Autodesk Token Flex licensing model. It's the first uh, video in a series of uh, videos we are going to do about it, and it's going to be very interesting. Um, so let me share my screen. So what is the Autodesk Token Flex licensing model? So um, this is Autodesk solution for the enterprises, the biggest organizations that use Autodesk with many, many users. Um, it's based on disposable tokens, which we discussed in previous videos, um, a pay-per-use model, and um, usually set agreement with, talk, uh, with Autodesk for three years term. Um, so let's see in general how disposable token pool works. So this is the user, and that's our license pool. Currently, we have 100 tokens. Um, the user asks for an Autodesk license, um, and the license pool reduces the cost for Autodesk, so it's six token. We only left with 194 now. And um, sends the license to the user, the user can run the software um, on his desktop. Um, the, um, we can see the license, the, the costs here in token. So we see actually family of products. So these are grouped like packages, and it's similar products, different versions, but with the same uh, target. And you can see the token rate for each of the products. So as an example, Autodesk is six tokens. Um, if you take Autodesk plus Inventor, it's six plus 11. It's 17 tokens, and it's all per 20. 24 hours. The, uh, the tokens are purchased in advance. So for every year, the customers need to say, I need this amount of tokens. 1 million, 6 million, 10 million. Um, it's many tokens typically. Uh, the best thing is that you can use it for any of the products. So you don't need to decide. You have a token. You can pull any product you want, and that's a huge advantage. If you um, didn't estimate the right number of tokens and you need more in the end of the year, you can purchase more, but probably pay more for each token. Um, what's happening with unused tokens? Um, I'm not sure, basically I understood that they expire, but check that with Auto, Autodesk. Uh, so in the next session, we are going to dive into, okay, let's analyze the model. Is it per, per use? Um, should we get it? What's the consideration? How many to tokens we need? What are the pitfalls? And how can we optimize? So I would like to thank you for joining in today and looking forward to see you in the next videos. If you liked it, please click like so we get more views. Thank you very much.